Even more important than the preparation of Amanita muscaria is the pre-preparation. Do your effing research. Research a lot, a lot, a lot from a lot of different people and um, read, read, read. So I'm not just going to start with a microdose. Before I take that, I started with this topical cream from Amanita.lt, the Lithuanian site. They sell this cream for muscles that uh, has turpentine oil and Amanita muscaria in a cream base, and it is fabulous. Uh, as you know, I am a healer and body worker, and this is a really, really good muscle cream. It works instantly, it really penetrates. Um, and when I, I used this, not only did it instantly melt the sore muscles I had from getting back into yoga after not doing yoga in years, <laughs> it is a really hardcore Ashtanga session and then was so sore and this saved the day. Uh, also got out a thing in my neck like really instantly, this uh, kind of swollen thing. So not only does it work for muscles, but whatever amount of Amanita is in there topically, I'm very sensitive. I felt, um, I felt my mood lift and I had more vivid dreams immediately after. So I, I get to know the spirit of Amanita before I even try it. I think it's super important to um, not mess with things unless they call out to you strike a conversation with the spirit um, and and merge fields with it before you ingest anything if you choose to ingest it um, if you were to make a batch of like a whole ounce obviously a teaspoon is going to be more concentrated so a, a teaspoon is not a teaspoon a batch to batch it depends on a lot of things um, the season also, uh, if I, I heard, I think the spring ones are stronger than the fall ones. I don't know, you know, uh, people who forage tend to know these more, but you never know how much ebotenic acid is going to be in one mushroom compared to the next. And that's why you want to use a lot of them, even if you're just going to microdose, you want to use sterile containers to store it. And um, you want to start off small and figure out what your microdose is. Maybe it's a quarter teaspoon. Um, work your way up. Um, Amanita Dreamer, they saved her life. She was, um, she, she should just hear her personal story. I'm not going to spoil the story. It is a great story. Um, she, her protocol to get off of benzos, it was 15 grams in a batch, a cup of water boil for 20 minutes and she microdoses three times, uh, three days in a row, and then once every three days for three weeks. And she never touched them again. I don't have any benzo addiction. I don't like benzos, so I'm not using her protocol. I am using um, my own communication with the, um, with, with the mushroom. And um, it is nothing like any other hallucinogenic. Uh, really nothing like that so don't expect it to be anything like psilocybin uh, psilocybin is this expansive energy about the you know sacred geometry unity consciousness um, you can like I, I can control the weather on psilocybin with with the big dose so it, it's very like connected with your environment and what I've read about Amanita muscaria mushroom is it's it's very much an inward journey. Um, you dream on it uh, very vividly. With larger doses, you could have um, out-of-body experiences or feel like you're flying. So maybe that's where the reindeer um, myths come from. Um, the Siberians uh, shamans would take it and people would drink their urine because the muscimol uh, passes unchanged through the urine but it's already processed so it's easier on the stomach so basically the shaman decarbs the ebotenic acid already for the people they drink his urine and, and they got high um, i have not heard of anybody in modern times who has uh, drank their urine but uh, apparently people are, are tempted to try it on the forums but i haven't <laughs> read anybody who has um, 
all I could say is, uh, see, I haven't tried it yet, but the feeling that I have talking to the spirit, uh, with it just being in my field, having touched the spores, having smelled the, um, the steam coming out of the pot, uh, handled them, um, I have a very good feeling about it. They, they also mean business. It's like God in a mushroom. Um, so as I mentioned in my other video, I had been doing shadow work for, for weeks, very difficult, intense shadow work. And um, I think this, this came into my field uh, after I did that, like pretty much immediately after as I was ending it, um, to help me integrate. Because apparently, uh, also what I've, what I've heard is that if psilocybin is the alpha, Amanita muscaria is the omega, and it helps to um, integrate all of the other um, epiphanies and lessons you've learned on other hallucinogenics and um, kind of to integrate your whole uh, life experience based on the very unconscious um, programmings. Amanita Dreamer says, and she has a lot of experience with this mushroom, she says that this mushroom handles the age one to seven so really the unconscious parts of ourselves, those programs that were made there. Um, and if you're gonna take larger doses to, uh, if it shows you exactly what those unconscious programs were and it's just in your face, um, try asking it what you can do about it and it will help you. So it's really the ultimate um, father. It's, it's a masculine energy. Uh, very much like a parent and um, so it is uh, it is so high frequency and I, I haven't even ingested any yet so um, prepare 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 don't just get it and make it you know see how you feel merge fields with it that's all I suggest there is a pre-preparation before preparing them and maybe try something topical so you can um, get a feel for the spirit of it. And um, have a good night.